Right guys, <clears throat> I'm about to do a upgrade on this, as most of you all know it, I think it's a 9125S or S9125, something like that, XP times 4, waterproof, all that stuff, you know, blah de blah de blah de blah, and uh, as you know, this thing comes with uh, two motors in the back, yes that's right, it has two motors, and your EC and everything, your battery goes in here, your servos under here and everything else pretty much explains itself. Well, I got bored of using this car like this. I actually had a 3S LiPo just strapped across the top, cut a hole in here I did so I could pull the battery connector through and just strap the uh, battery to the top and have it running on 3S with everything else standard and it ran it, no problem. Gets a little hot, not hot enough that you couldn't, no problem. So, Changed all the suspension, and that's all I did. Right, basically, bigger battery, and I changed the suspension. The suspension I put on. Yes, my car's in bits because I'm about to show you what I'm about to do. But instead of having two on the front and four on the back, I actually just worked with two on the back, two on the front. Perfect, 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 perfect. Doesn't need four. So um, basically, as you can probably tell from the bits and bobs on the table. These are the diffs, metal, very quite strong metal diffs. So um, yeah, I've been uh, just been cutting away some of the plastic in here. You can see I've just made some holes and basically rather than put two motors in, I'm putting one. That's what's going in there. So I'll have one motor in that mounted, just in there. So this is a um, homemade weeder bar because this thing weeds like crazy. But anyway, this is the first stage of me attempting to run this on a brushless setup. Got a few bits and bobs to change and stuff like that and so forth. I actually broke the hinge on here, as you can see, completely broke off, and it's still stuck to the bottom. So somehow I've got to super glue get the light in there sorry see those two pieces they should actually stuck to the thing what this mount screws to so yeah i did a big jump i was bashing it and yeah one bash too many but i put a few elastic bands around it and stuff and just carried on bashing and it just carried on driving so yeah through them holes you actually see the diff wheel but I'm gonna glue it all back up and budge it up. I will order a new piece, and as you can see, I've cut half of it away as well, just to put the brushless thing because it will actually stick out the top when that's on. So um, yeah, this is a um, first attempt. Haven't really seen any video on anybody doing this, so this may be the first. If anybody else has already done it, I'd love to see a video on how you went about doing yours. I still might change it and convert it afterwards to actually put two of these motors in and actually run it the same again but with two of these motors in there and i'll have my c with cellular ec going in there my esc and i'll have my uh servo mounting here and i am going to try and get a stabilizer controller because this man you know short wheel base it really does same kind of thing as what my a959b does snakes all over the place power steers all over the place so yeah, quite a bit to go. Yeah, so uh, that's me for now. Yeah. Brushless upgrade part one.